Welcome, happy Pi Day, it's March 14th. So a few years ago I made a video on calculating Pi on a Raspberry Pi and I'm going to do an updated version of that video. So I'm on a Raspberry Pi right now and I've opened up this rosettacode.org website and I'll put a link in the description of this. I'll put a link also to my previous video. So when you go on Rosetta Code, you can go here to explore and choose tasks. And if we scroll down here to P, You'll see this one that says pi. And if we scroll down here, we can go to Python, and this will give us the code to calculate pi on Python. Now Rosetta code has many, many languages, so you could try Perl, you could try C, you could try um, doing this in many different languages. I'm just gonna use pi because it works very easily. So I'll copy this code and I'll right click, to copy and then I'll open up a terminal and I'll type in nano space pi dot py and I'll hit enter and then I'll right click here and say paste and then I'll type control O to save and control X to exit out. Now I can type python space pi dot py and it will calculate pi for us. So if we want to save this we can type control C and I'll push the up arrow which will bring us python back and I'll type dash u in front of pi.py, and that will say uh, make the output unbuffered. And then I will type pipe, and then tee, -E, and then pi.txt. So I will run that now. And so now this is sending the display to the screen and also to that text file. So I'll let this run for a few seconds. Okay, now I'll type control C to exit it. And if I type ls l, you'll see here we have pi.txt. And that has, I think it's 3081. I'll type wc c pi.txt. Yes, it's uh, 3081 uh, characters of pi. So you can really just look here on the number of bytes because each number is a byte. So I don't know how accurate this is. Um, you can really get into a lot of math if you want to on learning calculations of pi and things like that. I just wanted to go over the basics of calculating pi. This would also work on a Mac right off the bat because uh, Mac has Python and it would work on Windows too if you install Python. But there's, um, you know, PowerShell, there's some other different languages on here, so there could be other ways to calculate it too. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.